Hello guys, Edgar with GTVSource.com here and today I am showing you how to sideload an app. I know to many of you it will seem like I think you guys are not smart enough to do it yourselves or whatever, but you know there's a lot of people out there who are new to Google TV or to technology or they just, you know, just in case a lot of people need the, need the extra help, you know, and that's not, there's nothing wrong about that. So here we are. If you if you have been using Google TV for a bit, you will notice that many apps are not available in the Google Play Store. It is pretty limited for Google TV users. But since Google TV um, runs on Android, many of the apps just kind of work. Many of them don't, you know, so you can, you're going to have to kind of try it. I know, I know the Gmail app doesn't work and certain other apps, a lot of other apps don't work even if you site load them. But what you can do is, uh, if you don't know what side loading is, it just means kind of force install installing an app. So it pretty much means that you don't get it from the Play Store. You get the APK file from somewhere else and you put it into the device and you install it. And then um, the app will be in there. And you won't get support from the Play Store, but at least you'll be able to run it. So if we go in here, I, I will use... Uh, Google Voice is an example because I know that works and I've done it before. So if you go in here and you search for Google Voice, press enter, nothing's going to show up, right? Because Google Voice is not available for Google TV. Here we get like some kind of song and you know, if you press on apps, it's going to just show you a bunch of other apps that are maybe related in some you know, extraneous way. So it's settled. You can't get Google Voice from the Google Play Store. But, come on, go back. All right. But if we go here, um, what you can do is you can get the APK file and just install it and it'll work with Google Voice. Like I said, it won't work with every app. So you're just going to have to, you know, do trial and error and see which ones work and which ones don't. But uh, Google Voice does. So all you have to do is go to Chrome, uh, go to XDA Developer. There's many places where you can get, you know, your APKs from. But I tend to trust the guys at at, um, at XDA Developers dot com because you know they they have their reputation, and and APKs you get from random sites sometimes you know they're malicious and they have viruses and malware and all that stuff. So I just I stick with the people I trust. So you go in there, search, you know, do a Google search on Chrome, and then you download the app. So you go, let's go in, and just, just so you guys can know what I'm talking about. Open Google Chrome, go to google.com. Alright, 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 okay. So right here we can search XDA Developers Stock Stock Google voice APK so if we go in there search it'll search so we have a modded one we have a it's not showing it and go down anyways it's not showing it in the straight thing but if you go to the forums the actual thing and you search within XDA you'll find it right and I won't go through that because it takes a while and but when you find it you find it and uh, go to xda.com and on, within the forums in the search box, just find it there. Um, so when you when you have the file, you download it, and it will go to your downloads, which are right here. I happen to have it from a long time ago. But we'll press on downloads, and I have the talk. I have the Gmail, which sadly they don't work. But I have Google Voice here, APK, and if I press on it. I can then install it and it gives me the little permission thing and all that and then I press install and it'll just install the app straight into my Visio CoStar or any Google TV you have. So you are done and you just open it and now you have this thing floating around but there you go you got Google Voice and you can then press next. You can sign in and blah, blah, blah. It won't show you the rest because it has private information. But then after that, you will have your Google Voice app right here. You can access it and it will look 
Just like it does on a tablet, but it'll be on the TV. It'll just, you know, it'll have the landscape, um, the landscape or orientation, and it'll show you all your texts and stuff. And when you get texts, you will get a notification on your Google TV, and you can write peop write texts back to people and everything. And that'll work with any other app. Any other app that, of course, not all apps work, like I mentioned. But if they happen to work, being side loaded to Google TV, um, they will work just like they do on a tablet. But you use your remote and you use your Google TV instead. Um, so I hope this little tutorial helps you guys out because uh, I was kind of confused at first too. And you can get the file, the APK file from anywhere. You could maybe, you know, use a USB stick on your Google TV. You could download it. You could put it on Dropbox. You can and just get it from the from the browser and then you can just open it and install it uh, make sure you have this uh, checked out because you do have to check for unknown sources so you can install um, from unknown sources pretty much <laughs> so I believe it's here there you go if you go to your settings and then you go to applications there will be a little checkbox here that says unknown sources and that pretty much means like do you want to allow Google TV for to install applications from unknown sources or from you know your own APKs instead of just from the the Google Play Store uh, but check that and you'll be ready to go um, once again I hope this helps you out thank you for watching let me know if you have some tips some tricks some faster ways of doing this and thank you for watching again this is Edgar from gtvsource.com have a great day